Headphones Eastwood Band this month. Destination Leipzig. Runners up in their debut Bundesliga season and training hard to build on that impressive foundation. Just the place to meet up with Danish frontman Yusuf Paulsen. And our roving reporters dress for the part. Hello. Nice to meet you. You too. Um, look, I, I thought I uh, would wear your kind of outfit. I heard 99% of the time you wear this kind of outfit. Is that true? Yeah, almost. I think 99% of the time is almost uh, to less. To less? Really? Yeah. You really like that? Why? Yes, it started in the ground school. Uh, I just think it's comfortable, more comfortable than normal jeans. Yeah. So I just wear them. It is. I feel good. <laughs> but before we see you in your outfit, let's see what he's done so far in the business. Leipzig had just reached the third division when they signed Josef Paulsen from Danish side Lingby in 2013. He helped them win promotion again a year later, and all the way up to the Bundesliga in 2016. A handy finisher himself, the Copenhagen native is valued above all for his selfless forward play. And steady stream of assists. I expected a real annoyed Yusuf Paulsen today because you lost twice recently to the Bayern. Uh, both times you ended up being just 10 or even 9 players on the pitch. Was that the reason you lost those games? The second one for, for sure. sure. Um, we were actually in okay in game but when you are only 10 men for almost 80 minutes then, then it's hard to win away against Bayern. Uh, I think the, the first one in the, in the cup game. Um, yeah, we, we were actually the better team in the first half, I think. Um, I thought so too. We played it well, I think, and ended up in the penalty shooting, and uh, there everything can happen. And it's always about a little luck or something. Exactly. So, uh, your former roommate, uh, Joshua Kimmich, is playing for, for the Bayern team now. Mm. What was special about him? Was he your, your cleaning uh, personnel, or uh, did he uh, cook? <laughs> something like that? Uh, cook, sometimes we, we actually cook a lot. Uh, Three together, me, Diego Demme and, and Joshua. Okay. Um, but uh, cooking was not our... <laughs> <laughs> not, not your expertise. <laughs> not our expertise. Uh, okay. But we were developing our cooking skills together. Okay. <laughs> you once said that the team spirit is some kind of different uh, at this club. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Why is it different than, than somewhere else? Of course, we think ours is ex exceptional. Because we are so many young players at the same age. We only have a few with kids, everybody's here alone or with their girlfriends and uh, everybody's at the same age. Also our girlfriends are at the same age and uh, also good friends uh, outside of the pitch and um, I think that's making yeah, a stronger team when, when everybody also have a, a personal connection. Okay, last question for now. What's your, your dream when it comes to football? What do you want to achieve? Yes, yeah, right now it's the World Cup. That is one of my biggest goals, to play in a World Cup Championship. Best of luck for that. Thank you. But for now, my biggest goal is to challenge you. Mm -hmm. I have a little challenge for us. Okay. Okay? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we are. And our challenge today, basketball. We so play horse or pig. It's what's it called in, in the US. Mm -hmm. um, but we call it ovo or yus, and whoever makes the name of the opponent full as well. Patrick Air over Moyela against Yusuf Magic Paulsen. He gets to start. The rules in brief. One player designates a throwing position. If, for example, Ovo hits the mark, Yusuf has to follow suit. If he misses, it's a letter towards spelling out Yus. The loser is the one whose name is completed first. You may start. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Flawless from the three-point line. That was a nice one. Okay. I can handle the pressure. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a long I day. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but net. Okay. So was it here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's gonna be the first letter. Oh. Nope. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, there we go. That was the 
first one, eh? With the Y. Yusuf gives up the first letter, and Ovo maintains his golden touch. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No pressure. I'm under pressure now. And... There we have the short. second letter. It's too short. <laughs> the U for use. And maybe you need to catch your breath a little bit. So, uh, let's talk a little bit, okay? Shall we? Okay. Let's and let's do. sit down and talk, all right? Let's do it. So, Yusuf, you came from Denmark to Leipzig. Out of the second division in Denmark, you had opportunity to go to first division teams, some offers, but you, you decided to go into the thir uh, third division in Germany. Why is that? I had a goal that I wanted to go uh, far in a foreign country before I was 21. To my advantage, uh, then Leipzig was the perfect uh, match for me. And yeah. uh, it was exactly good. And was exactly what I was uh, <laughs> hoping to get. And you have African roots uh, from Tanzania. Yeah. to be exact. How much do you have contact to, to your father's country? Do you go there and visit? Uh, yes, I do. I, the pictures from, from this summer. Uh, so I was there in holiday in two and a half weeks. First in Tanga and then at Zanzibar uh, for a little relaxing uh, time also. Um, but yeah, I try to come there as often as I can. Your big love is called Maria. And I heard that you really had to fight to, to get her, to convince her to be your girlfriend. <laughs> is that true? Is there that a story to it? I mean, <laughs> that is real true. Hmm? Yeah? That's Tell true. Me. What was it? I was in the ground school, I was really in love with her. That she had already a boyfriend, <laughs> and then oh. uh, it wasn't possible at the time. And then both of us broke up uh, yeah, in the same year, I think. And then the opportunity was there. The opportunity was there. And uh, I like this picture a lot. And mm -hmm. it says uh, future, Zukunft. And uh, what do you expect, in, or what do you hope in the future? Will, will there be some little thousands, maybe? <laughs> uh, yeah, there will be. Uh, if it's the near future or a little bit later, I don't know. But it's, uh, it's going to be in the future. I think we're going to find out. <laughs> and you know what? We're going to find out who wins the challenge because we're gonna that's, play on now. That's the near future. That's the near future. <laughs> Let's go and play. Let's go. Ovo versus Yusuf. Showdown in basketball shootout. You know, you're two down. I know. One more to go for me to win and you to lose. But Ovo's touch deserts him. No. Nope. Ah. It's Yusuf's chance to move ahead. Okay. He doesn't take Sorry. it. Match ball Ovo. Depends how you see it. Oh. Now it's pressure. <laughs> this, this could be it now, you know? I know. And that's it. Very, very good. I won, you lost. And uh, since you lost, yeah. you have to do a little bit because it was a challenge. So this is drunken free throw. Oh, on. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. Looks good. Eight. Nine, ten. Come on, free throw. There's the basket. <laughs> Gone. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad, Yusuf. Not bad. Still a little dizzy. <laughs> yes. But I hope you had fun. I had fun. I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much, especially since I've won this one. So now it's over one and opponents two. And I hope you liked it as well. And tune in next time for Over Meets Interview of the Month. <laughs>